Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Well, it has finally happened. Sorry, there's a glare off of my bag light. Anyway, I'm, I'm losing my dramatic introduction. It's finally happened. I have been exposed to COVID-19 and I am awaiting my test results and I feel like crap. So if any of you have gone through this or are currently going through it, you have my sympathy because it is no fun. So I thought that for today's box, I needed to open one of my big boxes because I've been opening some <coughs> some little packages here and there. But this is this is this is a big one. And you can probably tell that this is from Endless Pens and I have mentioned them before. They are wickedly good at marketing to me. I think they're doing it to me personally because <laughs> they they have these fabulous sales that I just can't resist. And, um, oh, I was wondering when I ordered this, I don't know if you can see this on there, but the date is actually October. So this box has been sitting here for two months and I haven't opened it. And I really have no idea what's in it. And I'm a little afraid to open it because that will remind me of how much money I spent <laughs> on this stuff. Granted, I'm sure it was all on sale because I, I try to buy things on sale. But still, this, this is kind of a big box. So let's open up this bad boy and see what's in there. And I have my, my deadly scissors to help me out here. I used to always use my um, my letter opener to open packages, but it has gotten lost in the shuffle somewhere, and I don't know what's happened to it. It's here somewhere, and I'm sure I will run across it. So, anyway. I think we might need a little more cutting. And I think the battery on my phone is getting low, so this could just not be the worst. There, there could not be a worse time for me to be making a video. <sighs> but that's okay. And um, one good thing about biological viruses, they are not transmitted over the internet. Unlike electronic viruses, which are transmitted over the internet. We have to be careful about those, because we can pass those to each other over the internet, but the biological ones have not yet found out a way to travel over the internet. Oh, and that reminds me, there's a wonderful book that I read years ago called Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. He's a science fiction writer, one of my favorite writers, and um, Snow Crash was about computer viruses and human viruses and it was very interesting and these little peanuts are just going to make a huge mess and they're going to go everywhere <coughs> so let me see if I can find another box to transfer them to I've heard you can use popcorn as a packing material like edible the edible food popcorn as long as you don't pop it with oil, if you pop it with an air popper, it's supposed to make a good packing material, and it's, you know, environmentally friendly and all that. And hey, the person that you're sending something to can um, eat it as a snack when they're un unwrapping their package. But um, after it's been in a box for days, I don't imagine it would be very tasty. Alrighty, I can feel styrofoam peanuts bouncing off of my feet, so <laughs> they didn't all make it into my little, my little temporary box here. Did I get them all? Nope, oh, nope, there's more. Okay, and the ones on the floor, I'll just have to get those later. Okay, well. You can probably already tell what this is. This is some ink. 
this is some new sailor ink so this is very exciting <clears throat> And there's a lot of tape on here, which is good. That means it's packaged very securely, but um, also hard to open, especially without poking myself with these lethal scissors. Ooh, should I rip it? It's going to be loud. Okay, hold on. Nope, can't rip it. <laughs> oh... Tape one, Mary Zero. But scissors, scissors trumps all. So instead of rock, paper, scissors, it should be rock, tape, scissors, right? Because the tape, that made sense in my head. I'm not thinking very clearly. The, the scissors beat the tape, but the scissors also beat the paper, so that doesn't make any sense. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Again, also, probably not a good time to be making a video. <clears throat> Let me see. So we have, this is part of the new Sailor Manio line. Um, they have come out with some more inks in the Manio line. And Endless Pens was having a great sale on these, and I couldn't say no. So we have Nadashiko. Can you see that? Is it going to focus? Focus, little camera. Ah, oh, there we go. Manyo Nadeshiko. And that is a lovely dark purpley blue, of course, my favorite. And then we have Umi, which I think is named after Umi Plums. I've had some Umi Plum vinegar before. It's very tasty. Very salty, but very tasty. There is the ink. Can you see that? It's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a reddish orange, maybe? Let's see. Then we have, ooh, Manyo Sakura, which Japan is famous for, their cherry blossoms. I have seen Washington, D.C. when the cherry blossoms are, when the cherries are blooming, and it really is a striking sight. Those trees are so beautiful, and my goodness, look at that. Now this looks orange, but the sakura are pink, so it'll be interesting to see how that one comes out. And then we have Konagi. Another blue. Can I ever have enough blue ink? No, I cannot. There is no such thing as enough blue ink. And that is the miracle of nature and the miracle of our eyes that we can see so many different colors. All right, well, my goodness. I do remember debating over these inks. <coughs> Excuse me. Debating over these inks when I placed the order. Were they different enough to justify buying both of them? But they were both on sale. <laughs> and I don't remember how much I paid for them. And strangely enough, there wasn't a packing slip in the box. There usually is. I hope nothing was missing from my order. I might have to go back to my email and um, check them out and make sure that my order is all here, so, um, excuse me, Whew. boy, I'm struggling tonight, people, my goodness, okay, I need to gather my things together for 
swatching these inks and I also need to gather my thoughts. So, um, oh, there goes my phone. Ah, never a dull moment around here. Here's my lovely mug o q tips. So I've got that, but I need to find my swatching cards. So I will be right back. Hold on. Okay, so <clears throat> I couldn't find any more swatch cards anywhere, and I think I'm out of the watercolor paper that I make them out of. And I'm not going to be going to the store anytime soon to buy more watercolor paper. So that means I'm going to use my new um, coloring cards that I just got in my ink flight. So yay, those could not have come at a better time. And if the light looks different, I just found a slightly brighter light bulb. <laughs> and I changed out the light bulb in my floor lamp, so hopefully things are looking a little brighter. I hope so. Hmm. Anyway, let me see. Let me see. Oh. I was looking for the cards I made the other day from the ink journal, but I didn't put those back on the ring. That's why I couldn't find them. Oh, silly Mary. Brain not functioning properly. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Alrighty. And, 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 and. Oh, I still have my sad Sharpie. I need a need a better Sharpie. Well, I'll just make do with this one for now. Okay. So here is Nadashiko. And the names are so much fun to say. Ooh, it's very light. It's much lighter than I thought it would be. Oh, oh my goodness. There's some purple coming out in that as it's drying. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay, I'm making a big old mess here. Let me see if I can hold this up to the camera. Okay, now those last blobs were just entirely too much. But um, let me see if I can soak up a little bit of that ink. Because that was just too much ink. I got a little overexcited. Ooh, and you too. But can you see the purple coming out in there? Oh my goodness. It's like... I don't know. It's like Neko Yonagi, but better. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm mesmerized by the ink. <laughs> it is quite lovely. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So this is... And I'm going to hold my pen really weird so I can get the tip to make contact with the... Um, with the card. In case you weren't here for the last ink swabbing video, this is my poor Sharpie pen with the mangled tip, and it's the only one that I see nearby. So we're going to make do. So this is Sailor Manu, and this is Nadeshiko. And I don't know what that means, but it sounds lovely. It'll be really fun to see what that looks like as it dries. I mean, or when it dries. Very nice. All right, next up we have Manyo Umi. Like the Umi plums. I'm guessing it's like the Umi plums. I'm certainly not an expert. But, um, anyway, <laughs> my, <coughs> my, 
my lighting setup is um, resisting me. Oh dear, and there goes our focus. There we go, okay. Ooh, that is very dark red. Very interesting. Now I wonder if any colors are going to come out in this like they did in the Nadashiko. Hmm. So far not noticing anything crazy. Still pretty though. Kind of like oxblood, maybe. So this is Sailor Menu Ume. For some reason, I was thinking that was going to be much, much more purpley, much more plummy than it is. So that's very interesting. And I'm really interested to see this one. <coughs> this is the Sakura ink. And Sakura, as we know, is cherry blossoms, which are usually pink. But this ink is looking very orange. So this is going to be really interesting to swab. Uh-oh. Light problems, light problems. Oh. Hmm. Yes. I'm seeing some interesting things happening here. So, oops. And ink. You can't play with ink without getting it all over yourself. Okay. So this is looking very orange. But it looks like it has some undertones of pink to it. So that's very interesting. Can we get some more light on the subject? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to let him dry too. I guess I should write the name on there first. So this is Sailor Menu. Sakura. Yeah, most things that I have seen that are called Sakura are very red, very pink. This one's more like a like a peachy orange, but there is kind of an undertone of pink to it. Very interesting. Okay, and this one is Konagi. Sorry, my, my light doesn't want to stay where I want it to be. And I don't even know if this is really helping or not. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and we're going to see what that looks like. It helps a little bit. But I, I have it taped to the desk. <laughs> and the tape keeps giving out and then it falls over. So, um, well... Uh, it's just not working. Hey, buddy. Gus does not know what I'm up to. You think by now you know what I was up to, bud? <clears throat> okay, so Konagi. Ooh. That is a very vibrant blue. So pretty. Mmm. Mm. I want a few more blobs on there. Blobs are fun. I don't know. I have lost my mind. <laughs> Please excuse me. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, and now that I've gotten the card completely soaking wet, I'm going to try to write on it without getting my hand in it. So this is Sailor. Menu. 
Konagi. And I have some other of these Manyo inks. For some reason, I'm thinking I, I already have this one, but I think this is one of the new ones, in which case I couldn't have it. So I don't know. But let's see, can we get that one up close? So we're going to let these dry for a little bit and see how much the colors change. Okay, well, <clears throat> I decided I was going to get some cards out to look at the colors while these guys were drying, and I really wanted to get um, Troublemaker Milky Ocean, but I can't find my card for that. <laughs> and of course, while I was looking through my cards, I found 10,000 blues that I just love. Um, anyway, so let's, let's take a look at these. So here we have our Sailor Nadashiko, and let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So there's Nadashiko, and I don't know why I got out this one, two, three, because that is not even close. That's more like abalone. Ooh, don't get me talking about ink. I'll go way off on a tangent. So I was thinking that it looked like Neko Yanagi, and it sort of does. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Maybe I zoomed in too far. This is definitely more vibrant than Nadashiko. Neko Yanagi is much paler. So if you tried Neko Yonagi and it's too light for you, then maybe you should try Nadashiko. That is so pretty. Make sure we're in focus here. So pretty. With the blues and the purples. Alright, and I don't want to overwhelm us with too many choices here. But I just picked out a few that I thought were similar. So we've got the Sailor Gentle Grenade. <laughs> and Gus is trying to tell me something. And there is Sailor Okuyama. Let's push these back a little bit. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, I just stuck my hand in the Konagi. Obviously the Konagi is not dry yet because I just stuck my fingers in it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, so we will zoom out just a teeny, teeny bit. Trying to zoom out here. It's not working. Okay. Um, so, Sailor Gentle Grenade, Sailor Manyo, and Sailor Okuyama. I just realized those are all Sailor inks, and they're all pretty similar. Hmm. I think that one's a bit darker, and that has the green sheen, and this one's a bit lighter, but also with some green sheen, and then this one is, I think this one's a little bit browner. Does it have some green sheen to it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Here's today's news flash, people. Sailor is just rebottling their ink <laughs> and selling it under different names, and I'm foolish enough to fall for it and buy them. Hmm. 
Mary's lesson for today is she needs to stop buying ink because she already has some of everything. And I also was thinking that that looked like ox blood. But ox blood is definitely darker, redder, and it doesn't have that sheen to it. There's a little bit of something going on there, but not like the sailor ink. Okay, and I also pulled out this diamond deep dark red. I've, I, I've been pulling out a lot of cards. I have to stop that, but it's so much fun. And let me see. I didn't have a whole lot to compare to this Sakura. Um, I pulled out Apache Sunset, but that just looks completely different. This really is kind of a peach color with an undertone of pink. And it's hard to show it on the camera. But especially in these areas, it's looking very pink. Very interesting. Of course, Apache Sunset is just, you know, a golden orange. It's a very pretty ink, but a very different ink. So if you're into oranges, that's probably a really good one for you. Let's see how bad I messed up this guy by sticking my finger in it. Gosh, he's still wet. I let him dry for a few minutes. And he's still wet. Very pretty, though. He's got a little bit of red sheen going on there. Let's see. And I just pulled out so many blue cards because I have so many blue cards. So I will just go through them quickly. And I'm sorry this card is so small because we're not getting that really broad swab of the ink. But it's enough to test it out for now. And I'll get some more cards made later. Okay, so that is KWZ Hawaii Blue, which is more teal. And there's Troublemaker Blue Guitar, which I think is lighter. And Robert Oster, much more teal. This is definitely blue leaning toward the purple. And I pulled out Pelican Edelstein Topaz, definitely too light. And then I was thinking Ralph Waldo Emerson had those blue undertones, but much darker. And Monteverde Capri Blue, much too light. Here is the Vinta Inks, Dugong Bagal. Lots of sheen on that one. I think this one has more of a pink sheen than a red sheen. But again, that nice dark blue. And here's another Troublemaker ink, Samoon. Also with the pink sheen. Kind of similar to blue guitar there. And let's see, here is Tasha Ao blue. More purpley. I think, than Konagi. And Three Oysters Cobalt Blue. He's leaning a bit more toward the blue-black. So, I have a lot of blue inks. But I don't think any of them are a good match for this Konagi. And, oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Every blue ink is my favorite. I love all of them. Oh, so pretty. Alrighty. Well, that was all for today's unboxing. And, um, um, I, I guess that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will be back tomorrow for some more fun stuff. So I hope to see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.